Welcome back to the Sports Report. And joined with me on the line is Coldwater head coach Chip Odden, returning for his 13th season as the helm of the Cavaliers and looking forward again to a wonderful, uh, another great season. And I know it's easy for us uh, media guys to say, hey, going to be another successful cold water season, but you guys are putting in the work coach. Good to talk to you again. Thanks for having me, Patrick. Yep. It's, uh, it's kind of crazy how quick all this comes. Like, uh, like we talked like eight pre-interview this had 16 practices already um, and camp right before um, August 1st started. So <clears throat> looking forward to all the challenges that come our way, um, you know, at the beginning of the season and then throughout the season. Uh, your first challenge is going to be Kenton. Of course, you already have that game in the books by the time we, this airs. But what have you liked about the kids uh, coming out of training camp so far as you get ready to begin the season? Well, um, again, we have we have good numbers. So we have, you know, 80, um, gosh, 78 kids uh, dressed uh, in practice. So so that's that's a good sign that our kids continue to want to play. Um had good, good, positive attitudes. The weather's been good. Um, lots of progress these last these last sixteen practices. Um, you know, we we did lose quite a, quite a few starters from last year, so we've got a lot of lot of um, a lot of positions that uh, our kids were competing for. It's got to be interesting to get the guys ready to go, and with the goals being set so high, and the fact that you guys are almost always playing deep into November. Uh, even early December, depending on how the calendar falls, uh, how how realistic is the talk of getting to state, uh, even entering your mind space in August at this point? Uh, you know, I, I guess down the road, that's kind of the expect expectation or the or the goal. But uh, you know, once you start once you start getting into practices and and uh, as you as you know, um, as coaches, you see things that you don't like or see things that aren't going very well, and you're like. Man, I don't know if we'll win a game, let alone make the playoffs, and let alone make it to state. And we had some seven on sevens that were, you know, about even with with uh, all three were pretty pretty evenly matched. And our scrimmage uh, with 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 uh, Walpock is always a really good one for us on the first, you know, that first first scrimmage. So uh, we always get we always get exposed a little bit when we when we go against Walpock because they're a good physical, well coached team and see some good things, see some not so good things, and so. So, you know, in the back of our minds, you know, because we've been there, you always, you always hope to get there, but, but at this point you just go day to day and, and try to keep getting better. Moving on as we continue our conversation with head coach of Coldwater, Chip Ottens. Coach, you had a, uh, a tumultuous summer to, to say the least. Everything was going pretty smoothly. And then a, uh, a trip to South Carolina took a very interesting turn. You had a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a heart scare. Um, First of all, the the big question is how are you feeling? Yeah, that's a that's a good question. Now, for the most part, I'm pretty much back to normal. Um, I did have open heart surgery, um, so so the uh, your breastbone and sternum that they cut open and, and split, it takes takes good three to four months to heal. So that's really the only thing that I really notice. Um, you know, once they get in there and fix your heart, that you know the doctor says your heart's fine. It's just just a matter of getting your uh, sternum. Um, back to health and so so there are some restrictions I'm not allowed to really lift anything and I'm not running around in practice demonstrating too much um, so the coaches are doing a really good job of kind of keeping me hey you're not lifting this you're not allowed to do this stay back but, but for the most part it's it's been it's been a pretty pretty smooth pretty smooth transition I started back up about all oh, the surgery I think was the 17th of June and and we got home about I don't know, at the end of June, and I started back up, I think about June, uh, July 7th or 8th, something like that. Um, just started going back and, and uh, started observing, and, and really, for the, for the most part, I'm back to, back to normal as far as practices go. So the quote that I saw when you checked into the hospital, you didn't think it was going to be anything significant because you were having, uh, I think, some nausea, maybe some shortness of breath. And the quote that I saw was, uh, they said, sorry, dude, you're not leaving. You're going to have open heart surgery. Is, is that an actual quote or is that, is that kind of through the chip filter as far as yeah. what they said to you in the hospital? <laughs> Definitely. That was through the chip filter. <laughs> um, you know, you go in there and you think, all right, I'll, you know, they'll, they'll do some tests and send, send me off to, back to vacation. And, you know, they, 
I guess there's an enzyme in your blood that, that shows that your heart, something's going on with your heart. And so, yeah, that was the chip version of, Hey, you're not, you know, we, we're not going to let you leave because we got other tests to do. And there's something going on with your heart. What, what went through your mind when you, when you knew that this wasn't going to be a quick trip to the hospital just to check everything out, but there was something that they need to uh, needed to address and soon. Yeah. Um, again, they, they didn't really know yet. So I was still pretty optimistic that, that within a day or two, I would be back at the beach house. But, uh, when they did the angiogram, which was, I guess I was in, I went in on a Saturday. So, so they don't do that kind of stuff. I don't think on the weekend. So Tuesday, um, they had the, the heart cath or angiogram to see what's really going on in there. So I'm, again, I'm, I'm still thinking I'm going to be, I'm going to be at the beach house tonight. And again, they can come out and say, gosh, you got, you got some, you got some blockages in there and, and we can't put stents in. So I was thinking that would be the worst case scenario to get some stents put in. And, and they're like, you know, you get, you got some, some problems in there that we need to, we need to do open heart. I'm like, Oh gosh. And that didn't happen until Friday. So from Tuesday to Friday, I felt really pretty good. I was just sitting there, sitting in the hospital waiting for them to be able to get all the, all the logistics of, of the surgery together. Have you had, I know you've mentioned that you can't lift a whole lot and your, and your coaches have really helped out with uh, kind of filling in in places where maybe you're not back up to speed just yet, or kind of delegating those responsibilities. Has your, has your coaching style changed at all? You're not really one of those guys that is prone to, to yelling and getting irate on the sideline. Have, have there had to be any additional adjustments with how you, uh, how you coach so far? Uh, not really. I, I guess the, the one thing that, I, and of course, as I've gotten older, I've probably demonstrated less because I used to feel like I could almost demonstrate anything that I wanted done. And so, you know, I, I'm not, uh, you know, I really can't do some of that, some of that stuff right now. So that, that's really about the only thing. And just, just being conscious of where I'm standing. Cause sometimes I used to always, Oh, just it, it happened today. Actually, we were working on, on punt, punt, uh, punt return and punt. And I would usually stand behind, behind the, uh, the defense, uh, a team like that was blocking the punt and there would be a lot of traffic in there. And I'm like, man, I better get out of here. I, Cause every once in a while I'd get bumped into or run into. So just, just have to be a little bit more aware and conscious that come on, you need to get out of the way and, and, and make sure you're, uh, you know, cause the kids don't know they're running around and Absolutely. Hey, as someone who has been plowed over on the sidelines before, I can tell you it's it's not fun, and you want know, to you want to avoid that as much as you possibly can. Exactly. Yeah, I got it one time. I think only one time that I remember, I got a guy who got slung around, getting tackled, and he and he hit his heel hit me right on the thigh. <laughs> and that was that's the one the one experience that I've had that's like, gosh, dang, that hurts. Yeah, yeah. And if you can get away of just saying, gosh, dang. That's good too. There we go. Yep. <laughs> Head coach of Coldwater, Chip Otten. Uh, coach, thank you so much for uh, joining us. Uh, have a great season, and we hope many more trips to the beach house are in your future. All right. Thanks, Patrick. Thanks for having me.